Uh, hello, it's the uh, One Pound Gamer again today, and yes, again, it's not about games. It's this is a for the for, uh, let me try that again. A follow up of the uh, Salter Dual Air Fryer. So, as you can see, it's not on yet, so I'll just turn it on. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, show you how I start things. So press the button and it turns on obviously so what I'm going to be doing is some uh, common sausages and some frozen um, hash browns. browns thank you dear and uh, yeah, the sausages are not frozen and obviously these are frozen so what I'm going to show you is the sync up function so i'm going to put the sausages on for 10 minutes and the hash browns for about 20 minutes for well, at 180 degrees so hopefully what should happen is when the hash browns get to 10 minutes the slide will start but i might actually put the sausages on for 12 minutes instead so what you do as you can see this is flushing so you press the one the basket one and then go to manual there's already at 180 so what i want to do is change the time which is on this side as you can see i'll put that down to 12 and this is obviously the temperature so i can put that up to 185 all the way up to 210 degrees now they don't take long because of the size of the baskets and on basket two you do that as manual and 180 and then what I want to do is 20 minutes and then we can start but what I'm going to show you now is oh I did not sync let me stop that I forgot to do sync so stop it it will just flash so you just hold that button down and do manual do that again 180 and 12 minutes and then manual and 20 minutes as you can see and then you press the sync so when that gets to 12 this will start and then press start and it will go so this is on hold until that gets to 12 and hopefully they will both finish at the same time so when that is done I'll come back and uh, record the finishing few seconds and see how it goes but first if you open any one of these it will hold both sides so and then this side will hold both sides again and as soon as you put them back in both sides will start again but if these are both out and you put one back in so as you can see number two is still counting down but it will not start until you put the other side in so it's synced so I'll be back when the uh, food is nearly done and I'll show you how it comes out okay so it is at 17 seconds till basket one starts to warm up and cook and as you can hear it's not actually that too noisy it's um, rather quiet until obviously you get to the back so as you can see as soon as it got to 12 the uh, second basket or the first basket started so what I'm going to do is show you the pull function as I pull one basket out so as you can see they both stop at the same time and it's been eight minutes and yes these are nearly cooked 
and then again this side. So as you can see, they aren't good at all. So we'll see how that goes. But what you can do, because I've never actually tried this one before, this bit before. So you can lower the temperature in one basket at a time. So what I'm going to do. Now basically keep it keep those warm at 100 degrees so they don't cook too much anymore. So they've still got 11 minutes and 16 seconds together. And the sausages should be cooked around the 6 minute mark or 5 minute mark. <clears throat> so I'll come back with 5 minutes to go and see how they're doing. So uh, just before the five minute mark, basically five and a half minutes, um, as I changed the temperature on basket two, it unsynced itself. So bringing this basket out will not stop the other side if you do that. But let's have a look at the sausages. And yes, after about um, six and a half minutes, maybe seven minutes, there you are. Nearly done, and then yes, these are done. So, I just need to do the bacon for my wife. And um, the other thing I forgot to mention is as you can see, the handles are chrome, but these also come in just black, so this color, um, and not shiny. So, there are more black handles than chrome handles and in some places the chrome handles are more expensive than the black handles so if you don't like the chrome you can easily go for the black handles and as you can see it's still not too noisy and the <coughs> beep that it has when it finishes I think it can be a little more louder you can barely hear it when you're in another room like in the living room in the front room <coughs> um, my uh, previous one was quite loud so you knew basically near enough wherever you were it finished this one you can barely hear it unfortunately but because of the sound of this it's just not very loud and when you stop it or it stops it will keep going for about a minute or under just under a minute and um, the fan will keep going keep spinning but the element will be cooling down but you can still open it when it does that that will be perfectly fine to do and there will be no issues with breaking the system while you do that. Okay, so it's 10 seconds to go, well it's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and then then you'll... So if that was synced, they will both go off at the same time. And as you can hear, it's not very loud unfortunately and this will keep going for about 30 to 1 minute so I'll wait till that stops and we'll see how it's done now sometimes you will get steam or it will look like smoke coming out of the back but that's perfectly normal because there are vents here, here and then at the bottom so that's stopped and let's see I've just put bacon in about for five minutes ago and that looks perfect especially for my wife she likes it like that but I like it a bit more crispy so I put it in for about 15 to 20 minutes on the highest so I do like it like that as you can see on the touch screen it will have condensation on it but it will still work and uh, as you can also see it turns itself off so I'll get a knife or a fork and uh, we can see how well the sausages are cooked if well, you can see this or not and yes the, the, um, these are Cumberland sausages so they are quite full and as I said before they are, weren't frozen and yes they are perfectly done for me and then on the other side let's see if we changed in the temperature, stopped them from burning, and yes, there they are, near enough. Absolutely perfect for me. I don't think I was getting that in shot, but nicely browned on the top and then on the bottom. 
let's see yeah it's nicely round on the bottom as well so at the moment I've got the beams on and then I can just put those in but there is also a reheat function so probably to that's to keep it warm so what I'm going to do I'm going to put that on reheat and see how long I can I'll put it on for a minute Let's see how that goes and then reheat on number one but you could actually just sink it would be easier <coughs> excuse me and uh, for a minute we'll see how it goes while my beans are cooking let's do my beans so it starts up not slow but it, it near enough kicks in straight away but you don't have that humming sound that you would get from cheaper air fryers so you will get this so it will build up you don't get that with this it's subtle gradual and then it just goes for it so with reheat I'm assuming as I put it on 170 I think it was a 140 I can't remember one of those it won't go straight to that temperature it will slowly bring it up to that temperature so it's just reheating it and not cooking it it's keeping it at a warm temperature for you and as if it was synced they both stopped at the same time and even re reheating that will keep going for 30 to 40 odd seconds and that will stop that side and that will stop that side and then that will just stop it so hopefully this has been a good video for you and you found it interesting and uh, hopefully it's helped you out and uh, I may do some more videos with the other functions to show you how you do and uh, see how it goes so thank you for watching and have a good day